Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for join joining me here. It's a big crowd. And since this is j simply last lightning talk of the day, I promise it will be super short. Uh, when I was thinking about what to share with you, uh, besides my re regular developers work at Red Hat, I also like teaching. And uh, I have various reasons why to teach, uh, what to get from it, where to teach. So uh, I will share it to you with you today. Um, how to spread uh, IT knowledge around the world. The, it's uh, my main uh, reason why I like teaching, because IT is interesting and Everybody should know it, of course. Uh, but you have to uh, find your own benefits you can get from it. Uh, for example, uh, you can improve your presentation, public speaking. Uh, but mostly when you teach something, you need to, uh, you need to explain it. And it's also very, uh, very good for your uh, regular IT work, for example, when you need to explain something to your colleague because it's some newcomer to the team. And uh, if you can explain it well, uh, they can understand it well. Everything is smooth. Everything is much faster. Uh, of course, uh, there is uh, another way. Uh, you can uh, focus on teaching some minorities which are not presented in IT industry much, for example, women. I will show, I will show it on the next slide, the details. Uh, but uh, even that uh, not all of your students could truly adapt as IT professional, professionals, uh, they can uh, get some knowledge and they can use it for their regular life in other areas, for example. Uh, if you want to uh, start teaching, a good way is to find a community where to teach. You can start with your family, but uh, it's uh, not very um, uh <coughs> good way because uh, when you try something, for example, on your wife or kids, uh, you can make mistakes uh, teaching them uh, and they, for example, wouldn't enjoy it so much, your, your teaching. Uh, so there are a couple of communities or organizations uh, where which you can join and where you can teach. Uh, the start is very simple. There is no need directly to have the lesson, to directly present something, directly teach something. You can start simply as a coach or also as teach uh, lecturer's assistant, where you can uh, simply help around the class to the individuals with their, uh, with their difficulties, for example. So first, here's, uh, there is a Chiquitas organization I'm part of. Uh, it's a, a professional organization uh, with wide range of technologies, what they are teaching. Uh, I was focusing mostly on Python and data analysis in Python, but there is uh, area of testing, area of web development, and so on. That's a uh, lot of stuff there. Uh, it's professional, you can get uh, paid a little. Uh, my minor thing which is not so great is that majority of courses uh, is done online, uh, but the reach is wider. Uh, besides direct lecturing or coaching, you can uh, be just a mentor for some uh, individual projects uh, of the students. You can help them, lead, lead them, and so on. Uh, Another uh, community is PyLadies, which I am part of as well. Uh, it's a 
from the name, it's uh, uh, oriented to Python mostly, but there are also various uh, similar topics like Linux command line, Git versioning control system, and so on. It's free, community oriented. Uh, you can think various topics you can learn there, and it's done in person mostly. Uh, of course, besides, uh, besides lecturing, coaching, there is, uh, for example, a uh, very valuable thing what you, ca you can do. It's uh, feedbacks for, ho for homeworks because students uh, learn by programming their homeworks. You can provide feedback to them. It's all very valuable. Or there is also open source materials you can review, uh, you can enrich them and s fix them and so on. And uh, lastly, I want to uh, s want to share my tips and tricks. Uh, with uh, when I started, it was seven years ago. I I my main uh, fear was. Um, uh, will they uh, will they get enough from the lesson? Isn't it, isn't it too basic, too boring? Uh, true is that uh, you have to truly imagine real beginnings, uh, very very low, very low level of uh, of the lessons, and provide help them very. Uh, very, very patiently, and so on. Also, when I teach something, I repeat it multiple times so they can uh, understand it better. Also, uh, both those organizations have some uh, way how students can uh, give a feedback, anonymous feedback to the lecturer, so it's always good to uh, gather the feedback check it and adapt your lessons according to it. So uh, this is what I wanted to <laughs> share with you. Uh, please consider joining those organizations, communities. Everyone is welcome. And now you can ask me some questions if you want. Thank you. Yes. Are those particular organizations restricted to Czech language, or can also foreigners in general speak Czech? Or the, uh, yes, very good question. It was regarding if it's restricted to Czech language. Uh, to be honest, uh, so far everything was held in Czech or Slovak. But I believe it has to change one day when someone will come and will be able to speak and understand just English. So I hope organizations and everything will adapt to this. Uh, what uh, the, mm, the, the, lec the um, conversation in English for beginners uh, brings another layer of complexity because though for example, Python programming or another IT basics are difficult to them. And if we, if we try to teach them or help them in English, it's another more difficulty. So it wasn't done yet, but I believe sooner or later it will come. Yes? Okay, if I have more experienced people in the class, uh, funny thing, those who are more experienced than the rest of the class, they can hit it very well. So they don't want to stick, mu uh, stick out much, like 
it's boring, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not like that. I have to very carefully uh, investigate who might be more, uh, more uh, senior or more uh, experienced. Then I can work with them with some uh, additional tasks and so on. It, it didn't happen much, or I didn't saw it. I didn't see it. <coughs> yes, please. So in those book highlighting, it's price can sign up, join, and uh, yes. Uh, if the guys are able to join the course as a students, yes. It's not uh, even. It's not advertised. Advertisement of both. Uh, uh, organizations, communities say it's for women, uh, but time to time it happened that even guy is uh, of, um, part of the class. It's it's not strict, since there is uh, capacity, uh, even everyone can join. Yes. Free capacity can bring. Uh, yes, please. What are, the usual they work on? what are the usual projects they work on? Uh, I, I uh, in Czechitas, I taught mostly uh, data analysis courses in Python. So uh, projects consisted of some uh, data analysis, uh, gathering data. Like yes, exactly. Pandas. Um, pandas mostly, and uh, gathering data, cleaning data, uh, analysis presentation. Any more questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>